sitting on the fence. Perhaps you've heard someone say that they're sitting on the fence when the conversation came to them making a decision. Maybe someone wanted you to make a decision about something. Stop sitting on the fence. You need to decide soon. Your high school guidance counselor might have said, You need to choose a university this week. You can't sit on the fence any longer. It's easy to picture yourself sitting on a fence with two sides that you could jump off onto. The idiom sitting on the fence is a metaphor where you find yourself sitting up on a fence with the option of jumping off on either side. What it means is that you have not decided between two options. You could be sitting on the fence for various reasons and not simply because you can't make up your mind between two very good choices. It could be that both options are undesirable and you want to avoid the pain of either choice for as long as possible. Or maybe choosing a side of the fence would make someone upset, so you want to remain undecided. You want to remain neutral. Sitting on the fence usually means you have not decided between two options, but it could be more than two options. It is not entirely clear where the idiom originates, but an anecdote is that one day a farmer found himself running from a bull and hopped up onto a fence. But instead of being able to jump off on the other side, he finds that there is a ferocious dog waiting. So he is stuck sitting on the fence, not wanting to face either the bull or the dog. Sitting on the fence brings to mind another idiom. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. This related idiom means that if you have chosen something, you are on one side of the fence. But looking over the fence, you desire for what's on that side. So, you hop on over the fence and choose the other side. After a while, you look back to where you were and decide that it was better before. Maybe you then decide to go back, but while you're up on the fence, you decide to sit on it and not make a choice either way. If you are having a hard time making a decision, you can say, I like both options but really cannot decide, so I'm sitting on the fence for now. Maybe you and your friends are trying to decide on a vacation spot. Maybe we should sit on the fence for now, until we've learned more about each place? If your brother and sister are arguing, your parents might tell you, You should sit on the fence. Don't take anyone's side. Whether you can't decide between two great options or want to avoid the pain between two bad options, make sure to say that you're sitting on the fence.